Hi there, in this video, I'm gonna talk about box and whisker plots. Uh, this is a diagram that is used to express uh, a set of data. It can be a large set of data or a small set, doesn't really matter. I wanna first just in conceptually show you what a box and whisker plot looks like, and then we'll actually attempt one. Um, so a box and whisker plot looks like this. You've got a box, maybe a line in the middle somewhere. And then you've got whiskers, and then you might have some dots, maybe a dot right there, and maybe two dots. Okay, so first of all, let me label everything. This is the median. This is called quartile three. This is called quartile one. This is highest non-outlier. This is lowest non-outlier. And then these guys are outliers. So let's talk about what all these things are. The median is the middle number in a data set. So if you have, uh, say you have a, a, a 11 data points, uh, the middle one is the sixth one doesn't matter what they are. It's just if you take, if you count from the outsides in and you get to the middle, that is your, your median. If you have an even number of data points, say you, have, say you have 20 data points, then you take the 10th and the 11th, the two middle ones and average them. That's what the median is. It, it's represented by this line right here. Um, the quartile one, this is the 25th percentile. And the quartile three is the 75th percentile. What that means is at the 75th percentile, 25% of the observed values are higher than this number, 75% are lower. And then likewise for the 25th percentile, 25% of the values are lower, 75% are higher. Um, so the distance from Q1 to Q3, this distance is called the interquartile range or IQR. And if you take the actual number of this and the number of this and subtract them, that width is called an IQR. Um, an outlier is more than 1.5 IQR, sorry, uh, above 75th percentile or below 25th percentile. So what that means, if you take, if say this span was, you know, uh, you know, 20, and you multiply it by 1.5 to get 30, and you add it to this number, that span kind of gives you the cutoff for what's an outlier versus what's not an outlier. So you take the highest number that's not an outlier, and you make it the whisker, and then any numbers which are higher than that are dots. And same thing over here, you take the, the span here, if this is 20, and you multiply it by 1.5, that's 30, and subtract it from whatever this is, that gives you the cutoff for what an outlier is to the left. And if it's not an outlier, it gets a whisker. If it, if it is an outlier, it gets a dot. So let's look at my data here I've compiled. This is 16 data points for uh, test scores. The lowest is 12%, a 38%. And then we've got people that are making high scores and then a bunch in the middle. So like I said, let's, uh, let's just kind of identify what we've got so far. Also, if you really wanna make a box and whisker plot, it must be on a number line. So we have context. I'm just gonna make a number line here so far, uh, 10, 20, 30. Otherwise, I don't know what the lines mean. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So you really need a scale for your box and whisker plot. Here's uh, 16 values. Let's get the median first. Uh, if you count, uh, in you go uh, count one, 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 one. Looks like the, the two middle numbers are 72 and 73. You can verify that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So these are the two middle numbers. The median is the average of 72 and 75, which is 73.5. Let's write that down.
median is 73.5. Uh, for the quartile one, uh, we want 25% of the values, one, two, three, so that's 25% of the values are, are right there. And so that's going to be the average of these two numbers that kind of show me the cutoff of the bottom quarter. The average of 55 and 62 is going to be 58.5. Q1, 58.5. And then for Q3, uh, one, two, three, four, that's the top quarter right there. The average of 80 and 84 is gonna be 82. So let's put those, let's put my box down. Uh, the median is 73.5, we'll put that right here. And then the Q3 is 82. And then the Q1 is 58.5, we'll put that right here. I'm gonna draw my box. And uh, so this is Q1, median, Q3. Uh, my IQR, inner quartile range, is 82 minus 58.5. That's Q3 minus Q1. And that is going to be, uh, what's this, one and a half uh, to 60. Uh, three, 23 and a half. That's my inner quartile range. Um, and so 1.5 times the inner quartile range is 1.5 times 23.5. And so this is going to be a, <clears throat> uh, add a 11.75. Uh, so we'll have a uh, 35 and a quarter. Um, and uh, so this is how much we're going to add to that quartile and subtract from this quartile to, to see what my cutoff ranges are. Let's just, I'll just do this on my calculator real quick. Um, if you take 82 and add 35.25, obviously this is over 100. So we're not going to have any outliers to the upside. We take Q1, which is 58.5, and subtract uh, 35 and a quarter. Uh, the cutoff for an outlier is 23 and a point two five. So the we do have one outlier, which is 12. So I'm going to just mark that on my on my map right here. That's going to be a dot at 12, and then 38 is going to not be an outlier. So that's my lowest non-outlier. Make it like that. And then um, since we didn't have any outliers to the upside, 96 is my outlier. It's going to be about right here, or my non, my highest non-outlier. It looks like that. So that's my box and pisker plot. Uh, outlier, lowest non-outlier, highest non-outlier, uh, uh, Q1, Q3, and the median. Hope that helps you out. It's very simple. It's just a diagram to express a set of data.